did you get, do you get any opposition from companies, for example? Uh, do they find a certain, certain part of the concept problematic to, to implement? Oh, yeah. For example, they, they, they want to push the uh, corporate color. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I get that a lot, right? Uh, and me too. That's <laughs> so, so what's the, is there some space for, yeah. for emotional design, like colors or uh, in the IBCS, how strict is it? Is there a space like, well, okay, I can modify this black a little bit? Yeah, <laughs> well, you, <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, could. Of course you can. I mean, it's, it's, it's your decision. If you is instead of using black, you can use dark green or dark blue or you can. I mean, but I ask you, I mean, would, would uh, let's say, Tchaikovsky say, well, Mozart and Bach, they had, you know, those, those um, black and white music sheets, uh, music notes, I'd, I'd make it a little bit pink or blue or green. No, they, they did not. I mean, <laughs> they're using the same black and white um, sheet music conventions well, they because they color printers yeah, they then, did, right? they maybe, did maybe yeah. <laughs> but even today where we do have uh, color printers uh, we use colors for highlighting uh, exactly. the, um, the the musician might might underline this um, in, in red color or in with a yellow marker but the, the the picture is the same even the the, the engineer i mean drawing a, a gearbox this would be black and white or the electric plan would be black and white this is good good contrast good to read mm -hmm. your, your books you read is black and white and it's not colorful only children using maybe in uh, um, colors in their in their children's books so coming back to your question yes there is a, a big uh, opposition especially from corporate design mm -hmm. uh, our Corporate identity is blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you think, then use blue color, blue colors. But if your corporate identity is, let's say, red, I would not suggest uh, to use red as a color for actual. I mean, mm -hmm. then red is gone, and we have no, uh, no, uh, let's say, variance color anymore. So, I think. Yes, I would suggest to stick to those basic notation concepts. But there's always a compromise. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, 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 the few cases when I had the chance to talk to the CEO or the CFO for, of large organizations, they accept this concept mm -hmm. because uh, they uh, think, well, it's not necessary that corporate design influences our bar charts. Mm -hmm. But if you talk to, uh, to a second, third level people, they don't have the the power, they don't have the decision power to really change, mm -hmm. to change the business. But I can, there are quite a few large organizations, uh, they're using this concept 100%. Uh, yeah, I also find that in my, in my experience that, you know, it's always, uh, it's always a, a big issue at the beginning, yeah. yes, but yes. after you actually present that data, present it uh, in the standard, in IBCS, forms and shapes, yeah. you know, they somehow start to uh, to deal with the contents and, yeah. and so on, and somehow this issue fades away a little bit yeah. after after yeah. a while. I mean, w if you want to to teach children music, then you have little birds and little flowers and the notes. But I mean, <laughs> just if you have a little a big orchestra in front of you, uh, th then the it's professional, right? professional, professional people and even the the, the professional engineer. Or the professional, um, uh, yeah, they, they are professionals and they want to have concentrated. And we have to take, that's our aspect, simplify. We have to take everything away that has no meaning. And, and if the color has no meaning, I take it away. If the shade has no meaning and if the frame has no meaning, then we take it away. We need the space for content. Exactly. And Mozart Add didn't. information. Yeah, yeah, again. And, and Mozart didn't start to make frames and shades and have all oh, this little note it looks nice if it has little you know the little 3d shade no no they d <laughs> he, um, the reward was you know people p people uh, said you know uh, the music is what i like uh, about beethoven but not the way the notation looks like this is not so important but that's the discussion we have today. I mean, people uh, think it is important that their reports should look nice. No, they should not look nice. They should be easily understood. That's the, 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 the question. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything that disturbs, everything that, well, does not help to understand it quickly, we take away. And they should also answer 
um, answer uh, important questions and also a lot of questions. So this this um, uh, idea of information density is also very important. Yeah. Like you were talking yeah. about sheet music for children, yeah. a few notes here yeah. and there, yeah. very decorated. But professional music has a lot of notes, right? So does a professional business report, isn't yeah. that so? It's the same thing. I mean, my suggestion is instead of having, let's say, in a PowerPoint presentation of monthly data, having not uh, 60 or 70 slides mm -hmm. with little information, but many slides, but rather have, let's say, seven or eight slides with the same content. Mm -hmm. That means a compression of, of 10 to 1. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the content of 10 slides is on one slide, which allows us to understand uh, uh, the, the complexity of the situation. I mean, if you, if you have, a, let's say, a map and you say, well, oh, here's the rivers on the next page, it's the cities, and the next page is the railroads, it is difficult to understand, but that's what we do today. It's you have a... Uh, you have a you have a PowerPoint, this is sales, and the next page this is margin, the next page this is profit. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you put sales, margin, profit, and headcount and everything together, mm -hmm. it gives us the complete picture. Mm -hmm. Of course, it takes more time to evaluate, to understand this one slide. But you have 10 times as much time. And if you have exactly. one minute before, you have 10 minutes for one, one slide. There's a lot of things you can show on one slide. And you can compare. Minutes. You yeah. can compare things and you yeah. can then learn from the comparisons because yeah. comparisons are actually uh, enable us to, to learn. If you have just one number yeah. uh, and you don't have the context, uh, yeah. like the plan or the, the, the previous year's values or competitors yeah. or broken down to, to countries, you don't understand how did we get this? Is this good or yeah. bad? You need yeah. this content. It's always comparing context. things. Comparing things. Comparing, I mean, right. um, Edward Tufte said, I think some 20 yeah. years ago in, in one of his first books, that we need at least two or three or even four dimensions on a slide. That means a poor pie chart with one dimension or a, a, s a series of 10 columns is one dimension only you only can explain mundane things. It's very banal. Uh, I mean, you see, okay, um, our export to Italy is 25%. Okay, I mean, that's very mundane. But if you say, I compare my exports to Italy over time, compared to the exports to France and compared to exports to other countries, and this compared to budget and competitors and so forth, then it's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. The more dimensions we have on a slide, the more interesting mm -hmm. stuff you can tell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Add detail, add detail. detail that's what Tufti yeah. says, right? Tufti says too, yeah. yeah. Uh, the more, I mean, he says um, information density is its data per pixel or it's uh, some other ratio mm -hmm. he's invented mm -hmm. uh, or he suggested. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Narov, you have helped so many companies uh, solve their reporting problems. Um, is there a roadmap? like a best practice process that leads to um, efficient uh, business communication in, in a company. How should a company start implementing IBCS? Well, I think there are at least three important preconditions we, we, we have to fulfill. It's, of course, we need a concept. And if you say, okay, you take over the IBCS concept, this problem is solved most of the time. I don't, that's, it helps a lot. I mean, 80%, 90% you probably can take. That's the concept. This concept has to be approved, has to be accepted. That's one thing. Second, we need software. Mm -hmm. I think without software, it doesn't work. You cannot write a booklet, send it to 5,000 people in your organization and say, follow those rules. It doesn't work. Um, it needs to call, uh, software. And this was rather difficult. You remember the f four, five, six years ago, there was Excel, Excel, and nothing, and no, nothing else, and no tools and no concepts, nothing existing. And I think now Zebra is, is one of them uh, following this concept. And there are others um, from different vendors and different large organizations, software organizations, they offer solutions. And I think software is number two. So because the, the, the user um, should not care about uh, those rules. The user n um, sends actual data and the software makes them gray. The, the user 
sends uh, budget data and they are automated because the software knows I am previous year and I am sales and I am mm -hmm. headcount. And so why not, uh, you know, you have this, this uh, let's say, meta layer, this repository where you, for instance, have defined the different rules and our concept is integrated in the software. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. number two. And the third one is, let's say, the, the, the power the, the, the ability of a large organization to roll out this. That means change management. Change management. And this is probably, at the moment, yeah. the, 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 the toughest and the, the toughest thing. Obstacle. Because of the obstacle. Because um, mm. people do not want to change their concept. They are proud of what they have done. And suddenly, they have to follow certain rules. And this leads, to be um, honest and clear, to a transparency mm. comparing things which um, not everybody likes. I mean, uh, this is the problem. We would all like to have transparency, but maybe not in our own mm -hmm. environment. So I think, it, again, it is, it is concept, it is software, and it's the ability of organizations mm -hmm. to really roll out. And it must be from the very top. It's a, very, it's a dangerous thing if you have uh, four, five, six lines of businesses, and they start this kind of project. Because then, at the end, after a couple of three, four, five years, then those reports come up to the C CEO and, and they have three different uh, notations. So we suggest it's very, very important to start it at the very top. That means really CEO, CFO, uh, central headquarters um, uh, really working on this. And then from there going top down in the different regions. And this is um, some organizations have the power, have this concept, others don't. I mean, mm. I know organizations, they have rolled it out in, in, in hundreds of affiliates and in a worldwide scale. It took them three, four years. I mean, it's not that easy. Mm. It's, it's not a weekend job. It takes, it takes time. And others are not able uh, to do this on one location. There's Department A develops the concept and Department B does it differently. So you said the change in people's minds, yeah. that's, that's the hardest obstacle. It is, it is. Do you have, a, do you have like a se secret weapon or <laughs> yeah, that's do, do you have a recommendation <laughs> for us? Yeah. How yeah, should we, how do you change yeah. the people's minds? Yeah, that's, that's. Do you have a trick for that? Uh, that's one trick I can suggest. <laughs> do not suggest that they, uh, they should change, change the yeah. concept. Because then you are the one who knows it better. No, that doesn't work. It's very simple. I think you, you look of what the, of your client, what they have done today. It's look at the reports. Say, well, nice report, nice chart, nice table. Here's another suggestion. Nice report, nice table. Um, which one would you have? And then you, so this is your su mm. d uh, decision or your suggestion. And this is the one they used to have. And let them decide. And if you do a good job, if you really suggested a consistent concept and a good-looking uh, alternative, then they will decide for this solution. And then you have one. Because then it's his or her idea. And you don't have to sell it. Mm -hmm. And this is, I think, the, the magic. I mean, if you really, if you really um, are able to let them think it was their idea, you know, the, the, the bosses have decided them themselves, then it's, 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 it, it's a self-runner. I mean, then it, it, it works. Because then they are mm -hmm. convinced, they're happy, they see the advantage. Mm -hmm. But if you start, let's say, criticizing, if you mm -hmm. start, well, we have to change this, you have to change this, this doesn't work. Yeah. That, that's also that's my experience. So the yeah. we, we have a yeah. common, ex uh, yeah. under we had a, a couple customers we talked to, and, and uh, the, the, the idea was they had even three different, mm -hmm. three different uh, uh, aspects, and then yeah. they presented, and they say, mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And if, if your concept is good, and if your solution is good, I mean, why should they uh, take the old uh, 3D colorful, uh, difficult to understand solution. Uh, they mm. will take your mm. solution if mm. you have people way uh, at the top. Mm. And people two, three levels lower, they might have some political interests. They, they, they fear the, the work <laughs> that, that could happen if you change all this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
to my experience, every time I had the chance to, to come to the sea level people, after one hour, I could convince them. But they don't, don't wait for us. That's the problem. They don't wait for you and me. I mean, they have more important <laughs> things than report standards. <laughs> but maybe in 10 years, it's different. But at the, m at the time being, it's difficult to really reach those decision makers at but the very top. I, I think that there are quite a few, quite a few companies already who, yeah. who already um, who already embraced this and saw the value of standardization? Yeah. Yeah. Could you name a few a few companies? Uh, well, some of them <laughs> some already, of them or just you know, they don't want to be mentioned. But I can just tell. Just in general, I mean, how s how widespread is it? You well, know, there's kind of uh, or types of companies. Well, at the time being, it's most of them are in Germany, Switzerland, Austria, because that's where we started. Mm -hmm. uh, but now there is, for instance. Uh, Philips in, in, in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, they started a worldwide project and they, they presented their concept on, on our convention last year and we will have our annual conference at their premises in June. So Philips is one international company. I've heard that I think we can mention, yes, that <laughs> Coca-Cola Coca -Cola, uh, are, uh, are using, using it. So Coca-Cola is, is using it. Um, and and so there's, uh, I know there's a big project at, at, at Bayer, uh, people at Roche, uh, Lufthansa, and, and many other organizations are following this. I do not always know the, the presentation, present stage, but I can tell you I had uh, in the last 10 years more than six 1,500 participants on our seminars. Mm. And there are quite a few uh, companies, they followed this. Maybe not 100% the standards, but they, they got the idea mm. that standardization by itself is, is just an advantage. Mm. Mm. As you know, well, there's one telecommunications company, they wanted to have Magenta for their actual data. Okay, this is not my suggestion. and we. Mm could convince them that they are not using magenta for, for actual because that would spoil, <laughs> would spoil the whole picture. So again, I mean, it's, it's uh, maybe 100, maybe or 200 large organizations are, are, following, are following this concept already. Great. 